He sat upon a majestic black steed. I only saw him at night. He would ride the fence with a book in his hand, and sometimes it looked as though he were writing. How strange I thought to myself to see a man riding fence at night, and especially strange to think he might be writing. On nights when the moon was shining brightly, he would dismount at a certain tree. Oh, it was a lovely tree. As a matter of fact, it was my favorite tree. I would go there often during the day to picnic. It stood so tall with long branches like huge arms reaching out and up, stretching to touch the clouds with its long slender fingers. Oh, but enough about me and a tree. I want to tell about the stranger that rides the fence at night, holding a book and maybe writing. I secretly named this man the lone stranger. After all, he was a stranger and he rode alone. I would sit at my window and watch him. Yes, I could see him from my bedroom window. That's how close the small hill and the wonderful tree and the fence stood from my house. I could see him coming from far away when he looked like a tiny black speck in the moonlight. Then that speck would begin to grow and grow until I could see that he wore a cowboy hat and rode that majestic steed. Then as he got closer, I could see the book in his hand. On one particular night, when the moon hung like a giant pumpkin in the sky, when it was so very light that it almost seemed as day, and I would much rather have been outside sitting beneath that wonderful tree and having a picnic of fried chicken and fresh baked apple pie. The man dismounted and sat right down beneath the tree, pulled out a thermos of coffee, at least I guessed it to be coffee, poured himself a cup, took off his hat and opened his book. Nothing really different from what I had seen him do many times before, except for one thing. He turned his head toward my window and waved. Yes, this man that I had watched for so long, the man I had secretly named the Lone Stranger, waved at me. I was so startled, I gasped and I ran and jumped into bed, pulling the covers over my head. I lay there with my heart racing, sweat dripping off my nose and chin, suffocating and in need of air, but too afraid to come out. Afraid of what? What was I afraid of? A man that rode a, rode a majestic black steed and rode fence at night? with a book in his hand, a man that would dismount and sit under a beautiful tall tree with long branches, like huge arms reaching out and up, stretching to touch the clouds with its long slender fingers, or was it because I feared he had been watching me for as long as I had been watching him, and now mystery was suddenly and sadly gone with just a silent wave of the lone stranger's hand. When finally I summoned up enough courage to draw the covers down and fill my burning lungs with much needed sweet fresh air, I slowly slipped out of bed and tiptoed to my window. But when I looked out, there was no one there. The wonderful tree stood tall and very much alone on the small hill beside the fence. 
Many nights thereafter, I sat at my window when the sky was lighted up with a bright moon and blanketed with thousands of stars and I watched for that tiny black speck to appear afar off and begin to grow and grow until I could see a cowboy hat, then a majestic steed, and then a book. But sadly, the lone stranger never returned. I never got to wave back, and I never knew if indeed he was writing in the book. And I guess I will never know, but there's one thing I do know. The lone stranger was real. He was as real as the moon that hung like a giant pumpkin on that night. I know because the very next day when I packed a picnic lunch of fried chicken and fresh baked apple pie and went to sit beneath that wonderful tree that stood so tall with long branches like huge arms reaching out and up stretching to touch the clouds with its long slender fingers the tree that stood on a hill by a fence i found his thermos and his cup and i saw the hoof prints on the ground made by the majestic black steed that he rode yes he was real and he was mine for a little while.